All rise for another class trial. Welcome, comrades. This is Iceboard Jam here, and today we are going to be continuing playing Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last episode, we have managed to find out that there are two murders both Angie and Tenko. So now we're going to figure out who killed them. Let's see who is the guilty party. So let's begin. All right. Intercession in session. <coughs> now, during the trial, you'll vote correctly. I'll punish everyone, but also, refusing to vote will result in. Now, smart. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self consciousness. Next yeah. time. Spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. <laughs> oh, wow. Who, did it? Who killed Angie and Tenko? Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. Says so, you. Our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. Really, this Maybe again? The resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Poor Say guy. Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Is it even possible for a revived court to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I could clear things up here. Okay. Let's listen to their. Let's listen to the conversation first. Then we'll pin it down. Monokuma file three forgery. Effigy hung us down. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! Wrong. So ritual did work. Who was resurrected? Angie did say she was gonna bring Rantaro back. Rentaro was resurrected. The culprit no. is the late Rentaro Amami! No. Stop it! This isn't about believing in reviving the dead. I have to focus on their statement. Hmm. Were, all this, were all those statements correct? This crime was. No! <laughs> so. <laughs> did work? No, that's wrong. That's wrong! It never, we never did figure it out because it never happened. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. Yep. After burning the effigy, burn this Necromon to ashes. Use caution, be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, <laughs> duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. What? Sure. Everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Daddy said so, so we can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Well, that is a possibility. You do Maybe. have voodoo. I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodom back to life. Monodom is still alive, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste a resurrection on Monodom's right corpse. You're on the threshold. Oh, now they're bullying him. So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? Girl, please stop. There's no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. 
Monokuma is trying to confuse us. True. A oh, the game for the angel find out who the blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Step aside, half pint. I'll handle this. What? I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. Oh. We'll leave a katana, our slap front door, our slap the back door. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. That is true. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. That is I true. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. Sheesh. He went to the classroom, broke in, and murdered the fuck out of Angie! Booyah! I'm a fucking genius! Hmm. Is Kuri... Kuri Yuko really the culprit? Does that story fit in the facts of the case? Just think about it from the beginning. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Kyo's research lab. Which makes you automatically suspicious! But True. anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke. Mm -hmm. Whether well, Kyo had a cure or not, as you still would have left him in their lab. Let's see. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Oh, that's it's right! Research lab. Which Angie's the count. Automatically suspicious. The movie's the count. I did not care about some katana. Shit eating. Classroom broke in. No, that's wrong. That's wrong! That's wrong! So Mugi's account actually... No, Kyo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Exactly. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab... Yeah. She said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Exactly. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Oh, how clever. You can <laughs> just ignore her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Samugi and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Yeah, Boy, of course. Shut up. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? Agreed. What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well? No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me, too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprit. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Gonta I'm not, not the culprit. culprit. I'm not the culprit.
Master debate. Our last run there, our last action. Who is just lucky to knock our man in? We must consider other gentlemen. possibilities. Surely there must be a suspect on the side of the student council. Yeah, 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 Dead Not just anyone could open the door. Right. Only student council members had access. Wait! That's wrong! I didn't know robots killed such boring life. But it's definitely not this kind of psychological. You must consider. Sure, there must be such a thing as student council. That was literally impossible last night. That's just anyone could open the door. Only student council members had access. No, I was. That's why. I heard it. There we go. The lock picking. No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened yeah. that lab door. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Keo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Andy's lab. Right? I was referring to Keo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because yeah. I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. That is true, and there were a few eyewitnesses. But it's not him. It's not him. Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. You lied. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. What? Hmm. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me, all along. What? What, what are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? He's lying. No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. No, Don't he's you lying. guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside? No, that doesn't make sense. Exactly. Right? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Exactly. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last one. The back door. This. That's it! The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes? How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. The tool the culprit used to lock the sign of the door was... The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. Mm -hmm. So the gold leaf was in the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. 
The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Was it the same school from Dog and Mopo Trigger Happy Havoc? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Or was that from Danganronpa uh, Goodbye Despair? The gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. All right. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Exactly. A different purpose. What could it have been? I know Sama used the setup to lock the room. I guess I need to know the reason behind it, even the setup. I can do that on the way. All right. Physic taxi start. One, go. There should be more. There should be more appearing because of that uh, item I got. Okay, what turn the handle of the sign slide locked? What turn the handle of the sign locked? Thinking time. Thinking time. Okay. What turn the handle? The epic. The epigies. No! This one! Kaye's effigy, that's why, because it was hanging upside down and the sword was connected, was on the effigy. They did like a circular rotation. What done? What was done to make the katana turn the lock? What was done to make the katana turn the lock? Because then he was stabbed in, stabbed into effigy. Yes, katana was stabbed into effigy. I thought that was dead, Kaede, for a sec. Uh, okay, next question. Okay. Whoops. I miss a few. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's it. I got him. How was the effigy manipulated to make the katana attack the lock? Lock, you need to spin it, swing it back and forth, and make it fall. Spin it! There you go. Spin the effigy, and bam. There you have it, our locked room mystery. That's it. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Exactly. Effigy spun? That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging would twist. Yes, it would twist. And then when you leave, and then when it spins all by itself, then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind, and the effigy would spin the other way, and of course, the katana would spin with it. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place. 
The culprit yeah. simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. There yes. you go. That's how Angie's lab was locked. By using the effigy with the katana. A plan torn from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Oh, but could it have moved the slide box so easily? Yes. The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. As long as the spinning katana hit the lock, it would have slid into position. Yeah, so that explains the locked in Even mystery. If the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? I didn't say that. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had yes. to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. Exactly. That way, you wouldn't notice the lock trick. But, Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. But I can't exactly. imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... A lie. Seriously? You fucking lied again? Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. It's so You're simple to figure out. Truth this time, right? I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. Then why? Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I claimed to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. You and your fucking lies! Go sit in the corner and play with yourself! Jeez! Okay, I'll start right now. Alright, so who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? You. I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Don't True. you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Oh, wow. Cum dumpster! Jeez. Finally, someone finally called me a cum dumpster! Jeez. What should we talk about now? Uh, we yes. must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. I don't think so. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. It's just a waste of time. Hmm? A suspect? It never kill Angie! So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect, too. Jeez. Silence, outsider! Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. Wow! Suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down! Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers, what should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. The Necromonicon. Not articulate with words, huh? 
Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. Why did Tanko have to die? Huh? I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Can we talk about Tanko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> what? I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. What? What do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first Blackened responsible for the first victim. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's Sheesh. case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's family? not meaningless! Whoa, Himiko. Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. Oh, wow. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Kokichi, enough! No, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tenko before. That's why I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tenko. Worked things out with her while she was still alive. But now it's too late. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. Our only option is to face her death head on. Face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. The name of the curse is... Death Curse! I, um... Suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out, too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run! I won't forgive something so messed up! Tenko was our friend. Gonta want to know why she died, too. That wouldn't make sense. I told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. No. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Agreed. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Kaito. Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Huh? What? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Let us talk about Tenko's case, then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But what was that other change of talk? Was that intentional? So what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tancrotch probably got killed during the seance. So everyone there's suspicious. Tancrotch! Jeez. The people who attended the seance. Koryuko Suichi. Uh, Koryuko Suichi, Himeko Kukichi, and Kibo. There was five. Oh no! Not that! It was, it was five! This. That's it! But Kiba was there, but he left. That it just threw me off of it. Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Oh, Himiko still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really 
Keo. He suggested the whole seance idea. True, I may have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand, yet. If we yes. all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control, either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. That is true. Oh, right. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. True. Right here? The floor bar and attack over loose. The cover might have gone under the floor to enter. Damn it! There! There? You're talking about under the floor, right? Huh? Under the floor? That's what I was pointing at! Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. Hmm. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? <laughs> it's appearing before me. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Marcel, the corporate the sneaked in during the seance the by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. No, that's wrong. What? Damn it. That's wrong. The light would have been too bright. The culprit sneaked in during the six. <laughs> because it was <laughs> our villain had a light. I mean, keep a function. Hold on a second. Someone could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second. Hmm. It's true that there was a lot of lying you couldn't live on the floor. But is that possible? The culprit sneaked in during the seance. By crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark. Wait a minute, hold on. Just a minute. I want to take a look at these. I'm talking to me, I'm going to keep it against the bright light. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I'm... No. Mean Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said hold on a second. He used his robot. 
women in I'm sure that with a little light coming around the floor. Is that possible? The culprit sneaked down the fence. By crawling under the floor. Because of what we our villain had a light. Light? 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 Keep on that function. Huh? Keybone could have used that function to get under the floor. No, that's wrong. What? I selected it. I selected it. I selected it. What the fuck? Sneak down the fence. By crawling under the floor. What the fuck happened? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? Green candle? I need to refresh that function. Keybone could have used that function to get under the floor. That's wrong. What? Uh, but it's too bright. You wouldn't be able to see it. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. This floorboard. By crawling under the floor. Hole in the corner. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see... Something does not make sense. Because if they did use a light under the floor, wouldn't they be able to see it? Uh, let's see. We would be able to see it. in the corner. I do not know. I do not know. The hole in the corner of the room that stands with Helen. There was space in there. I don't think any other options, but if you think about it, if you use this light, you'll be able to see it, but... I'm trying to think. Hole in the corner, loose floorboard. There's so many options. Our villain had a light. light? No, wait. Uh, our villain did not have a light. Our villain had a no. That's wrong. No, 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 Because it wasn't dark. You see, our villain had a light. No, that's wrong! That's wrong! Thank you! Finally, the pieces are starting to fit! I don't think the culprit could have used a light while under the floor. Yes. There was a hole in the corner of the room. If a light were used, it would have leaked through and we would have seen it. When you did the seance, the room was definitely pitch black. 
Exactly. The light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the culprit. Jeez, here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Sheesh. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why is exactly. the floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Yeah. Golda thinks that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. What if it's something different? Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh-huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Yeah, because you may end up doing a murder as well. With glowing paint and looked for that. That'd hmm. let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm just gonna ignore it. Yeah, from the first class trial of Dongan Rompa 2, Goodbye Despair, where uh, Teru Teru used the glow to find to stab um, Byakua. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint, though. Oh, yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. When? So not during seance? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. Yeah. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point. So it's likely she was already dead then. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. But she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. A no. different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. Huh? Hmm. Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your lipstick brains! Sheesh, this girl needs to shut up. Mark Stone, Iron Cage, White Sheet, Dog When Tenko got Tenko. killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been uh, done at any other time. True. She was under the cage, though. That is true. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. What about moment cage was lifted? Like that. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tanko real fast. No. So fast, no one saw. Oh my! So who lifted the cage? That was Himiko, but um, it was me. <laughs> then obviously okay. Himiko is the culprit. No. Wrong. They're not being killed during the seance. No, there was. It might not be impossible. There is evidence when for When Tenko it. got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. 
What about moment Cage was lifted? No, that's wrong. That's wrong. There was blood on the. There was blood on the white sheet. Therefore, she was stabbed. No, it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Yes. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Mm -hmm. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. If exactly. Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. That is true. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so... so right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the sale. I got to remodel right here! What? Oh boy. No, it's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out! Stone, Lewis Wilbur, and Iron Cage, okay. Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tenko through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gap, and that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. The blade for a gap in the cage. It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. No! I'll cut through your words. Uh, it's a good thing I thought of the marker. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. <coughs> so she was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Exactly. Then I messed up again? How could this happen? I am so embarrassed. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. Sheesh. Yeah. No worries. Oh my god. Oh, oh, how embarrassing. If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. That is true. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Huh? What? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? No. What are you talking about? Th th that's not possible. You don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. Don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. Stop that now. Hmm. Angie's spirit killed... Himiko? No. Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, uh... See? You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done that! Wait! I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance! No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. You do? Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? The they she referred to. Wrong. Who could have killed Tucko inside the cage at any time? If you don't get it, you're really narrow-minded for a detective. Uh. Show question. Who could have killed Tucko from inside the cage? Wait. 
you saying Tanko herself? I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. What did you say? Are Tenko? You Tenko is the culprit? He committed suicide. No. T suicide? That's not possible. Suicide. It would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. Well, oh, that is one. In the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. It wouldn't matter how dark the room is. Hmm. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? If Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? That is true. Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. What? But if she was gonna kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in the killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. Take us down? She no. wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. No, that's Okay, wrong. well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her, but still. But what are you saying? Himiko wasn't like that. She told me. That is true. That is a piece of evidence. What if all of that was just a lie? A lie? Wait! We should believe Tenko's last words! The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, mm -hmm. you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can True. lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. True. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Tinko anymore. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. That's what I want to believe. Me too. Go to no can believe Tenko commits suicide. I agree. Did commit suicide. That would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. We're split in the middle again. All right. I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? Yes. yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. All right. 
I don't believe Tekka would kill herself because of what she said. She said, I see you guys after. I doubt she had any sense of change upon it. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that. If we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tango. I'll make them all believe. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. No. So she hid her true intentions. No. But if Tinker did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sale. No. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. No. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. Everyone thinks that Zeko committed suicide, but only because they latch on the easiest answers. That does seem to fit, but no, that's wrong. There's some more to this than meets the eye. To get out of this, I need to make them think the suicide theory would work. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! But if Tinko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it! Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle I mean, the all the pieces. So far, so far, the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! But if Tinko did commit suicide, mm. Let's see, I don't it would know. explain how she died during the sands. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Find the last of her strength. That's a lie. I always deal the truth. All right, that's how this works. Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor because she died instantly. Instantly. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Tenko died instantly. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my target swift. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. Thank you, Maki. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway. Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Sure. Like Tanko would have suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tanko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? Now if that's you know the key of them. Please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Yes, not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve the mystery. Non stop debate. We're finally getting to the point of no return. The cage child of course. Did anything Sound seem out seance. of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance failed. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. 
now that I think about it. While we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. No, you don't! No! I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. I mean, it was totally pitch black. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. Sound during seance. It was just like during the seance. That blood of what could have happened. Don't they can think there must be some kind of... Did anything seem... Out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something about it. Something that the seance fit. The ritual was perfect. That's right! Agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. And that is the key to all of it. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Mm hmm. It was at. This one. Something hit the floorboards. What if something was forced? A loud sound, like something hit the floorboard. Maybe this has something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. Loose floorboard. This is it. The pieces are starting to finally fit. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. Exactly. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. Is that true? There would have been a strong impact that made that sound. But what was it? What could it possibly be? All right, then. Let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. Sound during seance, I'm just going to your drew. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Over tied under floor. Then stood up with such might. No. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through uh. the floorboard. No, that's right. I agree. I agree. Someone stomped through the floorboard. Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure, first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation, one of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? Hmm, what did they stand to gain in it is that question. It's all this case, I need to think carefully about the cross piece of floorboard. I guess what I was at. One of the. What was for? And the cross has been cut off. What was on the other front of the floorboard? The answer. Stumped on. A seesaw! One of them was right on the tank. Gap. That was the goal intended to achieve by someone on the floorboard. Wait, come on, think. A seesaw! See? 
Seesaw. No. It must be murder. Seesaw. Seesaw. What happened with the first one? Seesaw. Effect! Oh, shoot. Wrong one. There. There. And there! Seesaw Effect! I get the hang of it. I thought it was a seesaw murder, That's but it's right. a seesaw effect. The floorboard might be used as a seesaw. Huh? A seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cape. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece. The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. The whole body lifted up? Exactly. Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that, unless they used the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Exactly. In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. Exactly. The floor of our seesaw is occasionally part of the white fabric. What conclusion can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that is considered with the evidence. Floorboard next to the cage. The top of the cage! That's it! The sickle was at the top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. And that is the murder weapon. The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. That also, is right. The wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the exactly. statue's weight kept it from falling over. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the sea stone, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in a crouch position, but with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. But perfect. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. Exactly. The sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Yeah. What the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, Impressive. culprit. You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? What? <laughs> It was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. Huh? Why her? Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. How? The only one? Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? Wow. Yep. I think we found our killer. It's Kyo. Kyo is the one. Oh, yeah. Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance. That is right, but it's not her. She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. 
Then, she killed Tenko. All according to plan. That's a lie, right? The Himiko did such a thing? No. In the end, end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Kill Tenko? I killed Tenko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? It's true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea. But that doesn't mean that Himiko really killed Tenko. Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel. Last trial intermission. Thank God! Finally a breather! Would you like to save? Yes, I would love to save. So we're finally half at the halfway point. Is, Te is Himiko the killer? Or is Kyo the killer? Because there was a few... There was a few evidence that point to Kyo being the killer, but... We need to find that out on the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. Want to see more videos like this on a daily basis? Subscribe to totally free. Ch share the video with your friends. But comment below for other games. Maybe play records. Maybe just check out some other videos you do think about like. And we'll find out next time what happened on Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Who killed Tenko and Angie?